Here we are, Friday, a huge game for player for ambitions and to secure what a, a hard season's work. Yeah, um, I think the last Premiership game against Harlequins um, gave us a real fight and and uh, to make the top four and you know we got a, we got another game this weekend against Sale which is away uh, and really looking forward to it. Uh, I think it'll be this is a, it's a hard time for us at the moment and. Uh, we need to win this game to secure any any chance for the top four spot. The first day's result, despite the result not being the way we wanted to, it must have provided vital experience for Gloucester's young squad. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like we, we've used our young squad throughout the whole year, so um, they're building experience um, week in week out, and they're doing really like, they're doing really well for us. And uh, you've had we've got twenty year olds come in and. and um, and started for us, and like, have have kids like that come in and have a head. Like they've, they've been playing rugby for professional rugby for over ten years. It's it's really good, and um, it takes a takes a bit of uh, heat off off the older guys' sort of shoulders. Obviously, Corey's come in and had his first two starts in the last few games. So, how pleased have you been with his progress? And have you been stewarding him through the, the hooker? Yeah, no. Look, um, Corey is he's, he's, he's got his opportunity. And like any any uh, hooker within the squad, you take that opportunity. Um, we all we all learn off, off each other. Uh, if I've got a if I've got any advice for him, I'd, I'd, I'd feed it to him. But I still I'm still learning as a hooker too. So if he's got if he's got anything and I see something from him, then I learn I learn new tricks off him too. That's that's with, within the whole the the four hookers in the squad with um, Juki and uh, and Thomas too. You must be excited now with the grounds hardening up, hardening up. It's going to show that Gloucester's a lot more to come from them. Well, I don't, I don't harden up like, uh, like the pitch that we just trained on today. is like concrete today. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm used to a fast pitch. Um, it's getting to that time of the year. As, well, it's, it's not really. Uh, it's still four degrees. But, um, yeah, no, look, at the, the, the Quinns game and the, and the Bear Ritz game, that was a... With a really good deck at King's Home. They've, they've done, done a fantastic job. Um, the groundskeeper there, and um, yeah, if I can get if I can get the ball in my hand um, and, and start to run a bit, then I'm looking forward to it. It's been quite a successful season for you so far at Gloucester. So regular games, winning a lot of games, and uh, having a burger named after you. <laughs> yeah, um, I've had I've had some fun since I've been here in in, Cape, uh, in, uh, in, in Gloucester. So um, if I'm not having and if I'm not enjoying myself, then there's no point in me really being here. So I have to, I have to get out and about and, and really enjoy myself. And um, I, I, I've got a good team behind me. I've got a good forward pack. I've got a, everyone knows about our backline, how what, what they can do. And um, if we can, if we can keep going the way we are and keep developing as a squad, then who knows what could happen.